Foreign direct investment is more than welcome, but on our terms, not on Germany's terms. No. We have been giving Germany a lot of money here in South Africa for assembling cars. Not for building cars, for assembling cars. Why is Germany not building those cars here? And create jobs here? Yeah. In South Africa, we have a problem of unemployment here. In China, they've got socialism with Chinese characteristics. <coughs> what stops South Africans from having socialism with South African characteristics? Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to AfriPost. I hope wherever you're watching us from, you're doing great. Now, Julius Malema, as always, is known for his controversial way of dealing with white people because many people have always come up and said that Julius Malema is racist. Some have said that he's somebody who does not appreciate the effort that whites are really putting in South Africa. But I come to think about it and really, it really shows me that Julius Malema is more towards working for African people, towards ensuring that a black person within the South African Republic is really empowered to the best way that is possible. I want us to watch this video where Julius Malema was kind of trying to really explain to the diplomats the kind of economic ideology that EFF holds and how it turned out at the end. Kindly watch and then let's react to it after the video. My name is uh, Andreas Peschke and I'm the ambassador of Germany. I grew up in a country called the German Democratic Republic also known as East Germany. So I had a first-hand real experience of uh, real, really existing socialism. So the socialism as we experienced it, the communism as we experienced it in East Germany, it simply did not work. So um, I'm just sharing this and uh, to let you know. Uh, to speak to somebody who has this first-hand experience I'm ready to share this experience in more detail of how real existing socialism looked like uh, because we made the experience that it didn't work. And maybe it's good also to try to learn. Everybody has to make its own experiences, but maybe it's also good to learn. Socialism didn't work in Germany, and you're going to tell us how it failed. But Gwen also learned from China how socialism works and it has succeeded in China. It doesn't mean if it has failed in Germany, it will fail everywhere else. We are not Germans, we are South Africans. In China, they've got socialism with Chinese characteristics. <coughs> what stops South Africans from having socialism with South African characteristics? Learning from Germany, what worked, what did not work. Take the good things, leave the bad things. Why capitalism always resort to Chinese principles, I mean to socialist principles, every time they get into trouble? When the banks failed in 2008 and put the world into a financial crisis, it was socialist principles that took the world out of that crisis through state intervention. Where was capital at that time? If we go now, we are in Pretoria now, let's go to commercial crimes or go to liquidation or high court and all of that. Every day without fail, there are private companies that are being liquidated there. Who said if it's capitalist owned or private owned, it's inherently successful? Who said that? So it's an, it's an ideological debate we can have. We know what happened in Eastern Germany. We know what happened in the Soviet Union. We know what's happening in China. We know what's happening in Cuba. So we can have a, a deeper discussion about whether this uh, is really a way out. We, we sometimes get fixated on concepts, but in reality you do the things that you say you don't want to do. Every time capital gets into problems, the state must intervene. Every time. That's when you now see the importance of socialist uh, principles. What informs your perspective as a person who is a political animal? It's important always to have our ideolo sharing ideological perspective with China. It doesn't mean you can't get a foreign direct investment from Norway or from UK or from uh, uh, Germany. No. You always relate with all countries. Foreign direct investment is more than welcome. 
but on our terms. Not on Germany's terms. No. We have been giving Germany a lot of money here in South Africa for assembling cars. Not for building cars, for assembling cars. Why is Germany not building those cars here? And create jobs here? Yeah. In South Africa, we have a problem of unemployment here. Germany will not have a problem. It needs leadership that is decisive, that is going to say, look, we are going to meet you halfway, but you have to meet us halfway. Assembling is not enough. Let's start it here and build it here. So, we, we, and Germany's investment under the EFF government is not threatened at all. The same as any other investment. But we are going to renegotiate the deals. And they must be to the interest of Africans. Botswana did it now, where uh, the BS just wanted to change a diamond deal and all of Botswana said it's not going to happen. You are going to trade here and do diamond here on our terms. Botswana screamed, I mean, DBS screamed, kicked, did all manner of things. If this thing is not signed by when, when we leave, they said you can go. But yeah, we are going to sign the deal on our terms. DBS went back and signed. So that's leadership. Investors want to know what is your position on this matter so that they can navigate around it and see if they can still make profit out of it. They are not interested in you or in anything. They are interested in politics. That's why they mine blood diamond. They know people are being killed there. People, This diamond comes from where people are being killed. They still take it. Why do they want to behave like a holy cows and want to punish people for political ideas, yet they don't punish people who are killing each other for diamonds they go there and still buy blood diamonds we 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 we, we are spreading the wings of the eff um we have eff in liberia we have eff in lesotho we have eff in namibia we have eff in zimbabwe we have, we we are a young organization in terms of age but already we are finding an expression in other um african countries because we are trying to uh, take this spirit into other African countries. We need to strengthen the AU, give it more teeth to bite. The decisions of the AU must be taken and they must be firm, firmly uh, implemented by countries of Africa if we are going to say this is a serious uh, uh, continental body. From that engagement between the German ambassador and Julius Malema, I think you as a viewer, you are really able to really decipher what Julius Malema means because as Africans, especially South Africans, it has been stated that many of the drivers of economy are controlled by the white people and therefore there is need through which a level playing field can be brought. And the only way to have this brought down is through having various government institutions or various economy sectors to really have a major control from the government. This can always be positive and it can also have some negative outcomes. But when you look at it, there is need for the black majority in South Africa to be also directly involved in creating job opportunities and having control of the determinants of where the economy is headed. Because as it is right now, the economy is not in the hands of black South Africans and therefore most of them are in one way or the other slaves of the whites. And that is why there is always that continuous tension between whites and blacks, especially those supporting EFF. And that is why there is always that tension between those who support EFF and those who support the DA party. Another thing here is that EFF has fashioned itself as the party of the working class and those who are going to work. Julius Malema is able to really champion for the rights of... Julius Malema is able to fight for the rights of those who are employed, working in different industries and different sectors. And therefore, they must come out and really look for ways through which these people can have a better life. And through nationalization and even creation of opportunities, that can be controlled by the government. Blacks will have a fair shot at opportunities, just as the whites. Because as it is right now, regardless of the qualification you have, 
whites tend to be favored more than the blacks of south africa i don't know what to think about this please if you're watching us for the first time don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and also share thank you and may the good lord bless you goodbye